Recently, China's National Computer Virus Emergency Response Center (CVIRC) and 360 Total Security jointly released an investigative report, "Empire of Hacking: The U.S. Central Intelligence Agency." As the first of a series of reports, it reveals the details of the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency's cyber attacking weapons. Analyzes its cyber attacks and espionage activities, and discloses the process of such incidents occurring in China and other countries with real cases. Let's check it out in today's Facts Tell. I'm Sina. For the United States, especially the CIA, cyber attack weapons have never been a niche choice. It's used in many sorts of covert ways against parties, countries, and people to steal information and manipulate things in secret for the benefit of the U.S. One prime example of its practice is to facilitate the color revolutions. Here's a list of some among many: Velvet Revolution, Rose Revolution, Saffron Revolution, Arab Spring. The CIA has been involved in many attempts to overturn legitimate governments and create disturbances, and cyber technologies have helped them a lot. Some American technology companies stepped in, stealing the show in facilitating the actions, and their arsenal of weapons is dazzling. The first listed in the report is a project called. Tor, referring to the Onion Router, developed by American companies linked to the U.S. military, it provided anti-government activists from many countries, including Iran, Tunisia, and Egypt, with encrypted network communication services. With it, the anti-government activists can talk to each other and avoid being tracked and arrested. Second. This report reveals that companies like Twitter and Google provided the reconnect service of network to help the anti-government personnel to keep in touch with the outside world. The service is called Speak to Tweet. It allows users to dial up and upload voice messages, which are automatically converted into tweets posted online. In addition to these, the report points to many other technology tools that help the CIA pursue its goal of overthrowing legitimate governments. The RAND has an unconventional regime subverting technology called Stampede. It helped anti-government activists connect to the internet and improve the efficiency of on-site command. And the software called Riot was also developed by American companies to support independent wireless broadband, provide anti-jamming Wi-Fi. It can run without any traditional physical access, such as telephone, cable, or satellite connection, and easily avoid tracking. With all these technological possibilities, the CIA and other American intelligence agencies' mission to launch color revolutions abroad unfolded smoothly. On March 7, 2017, WikiLeaks disclosed secret documents codenamed "Boat 7" from the CIA Center for Cyber Intelligence, which show the details of the CIA's global covert hacking program. The first full part of the series, called Year Zero, comprises 8,761 documents and files. It introduces the CIA's software weapons and explores against many U.S. and European company products, including Apple's iPhone, Google's Android, and Microsoft's Windows, and even Samsung TVs, which are turned into covert microphones. And as I read out these names, I think you now realize that these are devices that any one of us might use. They are personal devices for many. The CIA is hacking into these devices, controlling them, and stealing information to achieve their secret goals. For example, the Weeping Angel is developed by CIA's Embedded Devices branch. It can place the Samsung smart TVs in a fake-off mode and then record conversations in the room and send them over the internet to a covert CIA server. They can turn my TV into a spying device. What happens when I turn it off? When you turn it off, it's not actually off. A lot of people remember the little red light. Right. That means there's still a computer in there, and it's listening for the remote to call back again to turn on. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to do so. The CIA can also hack iPhones and other Apple products running iOS, such as iPads. 
the infected devices can be instructed to send the CIA the user's geolocation, audio, and text communications and activate the phone's camera and microphone without being noticed. And be careful, the CIA's tools can also infect the vehicle control system used by cars and trucks. It can be accessed from outside and perhaps taken control of. And this can let you do a whole lot of things from playing the music to taking control of the car entirely and crashing it if you want to assassinate somebody. And the Seawork 360's report says they have extracted multiple artifacts related to a Vote 7 from the victim's network located in China and other countries. Those malware samples include Fluxwire, Athena, Grasshopper, After Midnight, Chimin Rat, and Hive. Take Hive as an example. According to another report released by the Seawork, it is jointly developed by the engineering development group inside the CIA and a subsidiary of U.S. defense giant Northrop Grumman. Hive supports multiple platforms and uses tailored malware to collect sensitive data for the CIA from targets 24-7. And the CIA's cyber attack arsenal is so diverse that it covers almost anything you can think of. Rats for remote control, data exfiltration tools, disguised software, you name it. And here's a reminder. America's secret missions are not just aimed at countries like China or Russia. What the U.S. want is to take the world under control so that some allies like France are not immune from American spying. On February 16, 2017, WikiLeaks reveals that all major French political parties were attacked by the CIA's human and electronic spies in the seven months leading up to France's 2012 presidential election. The French Socialist Party, the National Front, and the Union for a Popular Movement, and individuals like Francois Hollande, Nicolas Sarkozy, and Marine Le Pen were all targets. With all these WikiLeaks documents, another big question also looms for the CIA. How can you deal with a global security crisis if the cyber weapons you created are not properly safeguarded? Massive leaks are nothing new for the CIA, and these incidents exposed a culture of woefully lax security around the agency's dangerous cyber weapons, according to an internal report. After the information about these tools is leaked, will others use them for dangerous practices? Besides that, now think about one thing. If the use of these cyber weapons to overturn legitimate governments and facilitate the color revolution seems far away from you, is it still far away when the CIA is capable of controlling personal devices such as smart TVs, iPhones, and iPads? There is a very fine line between targeted attacks and mass surveillance. It now all relies on the CIA's own integrity, which, given all the news we talked about before, is not really guaranteed. We should be worried if they're being used against non-intelligence targets. We should be worried against if they're being used against Americans. Just Americans? Are you sure? And Julia Assange also pointed out another issue. He said that there is an extreme proliferation risk in the development of cyber weapons due to the inability to contain them and their high market value. He even comp compared it with the current global arms trade. Wow. Think about it. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like our show, remember to click like and subscribe. I'm Saina. See you next time.